What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Michael Ray Bauer, coming to you with a semi-personal video. I was a little bit anxious about doing this, but then I got rid of my fears, and I said, you know what? Share your life and all your blessings with the people that are members, fans, subscribers of your channel, and let them know some stories about your life and what's going on. We are going to go on an apartment tour today in my little studio efficiency apartment that I have to live a minimalistic life for because of my finances. And let's just be honest, I don't make a lot of money and sometimes we have to live this way as cheaply as possible, especially in California. I mean, California. That being said, we're going to go on in my apartment tour and... Hopefully you guys get some good insight into how I live, which it ain't that great, but hey, I am blessed every day to have breath in my lungs, to have food in my fridge, a roof over my head, and love in my heart. So, quickly, happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there, you beautiful MILFs, I love ya. To your baby mamas, your wifeys, happy Mother's Day to them as well. That being said, let's go on the apartment tour. Because I live in a box. But it's okay. I'm the man in the box. Alright, here we are everybody. So, you get inside the door. You open up the door. And what do you see? You see the entire box. That's right, the entire box. <laughs> and for what it's worth... I'm proud to have every bit of it. It is apparently, they say, 450 square feet. I don't know if that's real or true. But here it is. Here's the entire box. And we'll go over each individual area in just quite a second. So check it out. See, look at that. That's funny. We'll discuss that in a second. But I'm the man in the box. All right, that's my table, the coffee table. It was working, but then the leg started to break because when I washed my floors, they got wet and it's fake wood and it's from Ikea. So it broke down, plus it gets dirty on the top. Can't clean it. I don't know what's going on. So I had to put one of those containers below it. And it still stands pretty high for my couch for me to sit and watch TV and then I can do some work on the computer and go live in co coming days with an old computer that doesn't work so great, but it's an all-in-one, and I'm proud to have it, and there's that. Let's turn to our left by the door. And then I got my little area with the window, and then I got my little internets. Got my, some of my dad's ashes. My brother has the others, and my mother has some of the others. But here's the air conditioner. It's constantly running with the fan because the studio apartment gets very, very hot. Let's be honest with you. And got a lucky penny that my dad found many years ago before he passed, and I have that there. And I don't know if it'll show too correctly. But it's like an ode to my father of some photos and stuff like that. And now you get the opposite side of the apartment. And there it is. There's my X-Files poster that was given to me by Chris Carter. It was used in the episode as we were like video game kids of a first-person shooter video game with the lone gunman. And these posters were in the episode of X-Files. And they gave it to me personally. And I've kept it all these years. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And then, of course, we got bottled water. We got some napkins, the trash bags, and the, the trash. And that's my evolution chair that was gifted to me from the movie Evolution. Um, with my name on it. And it says Evolution on the back. We can't show that right now. And then I got a lot of cables. Why? Because some of these cables go to different computers. And it's, it's better than Wi-Fi. Let's be honest with you. It is much better than Wi-Fi sometimes to have cables. So, forgive my camera work, but 
I'm doing this on an iPad and I haven't really done it before. But there it is. You get a good look at the X-Files poster. Me, me and a couple of other actors. Appreciate it. And then we go back to the door area. Then I got my little playbill. Got my little playbills from Broadway shows when I go to New York that I can watch Broadway, Rent, Rock of Ages, In the Heights. These are all my favorite shows. Love each and every one of them. Then we got my little area of some toys, some Funko Pops, Justice League. We got the Flash. We got the Ray Gun Stewie. The Child. We got a Superman Justice League action figure in the back. There should be some candy in there for a quarter, but there's not. Then we got the Tenth Doctor, because I'm a big Doctor Who fan. Then we got my, my Gremlins, my little action figures from the movie some of my favorite movies gremlins it's a little hard to see i didn't clean up i didn't wash i didn't do all that good stuff before i'm making this video so forgive me but we got the scream the predator we got a record that i was going to gift my brother with autographs from the breaking crew before they passed but my brother ain't around enough to deserve it then also we got Karate Kid, The Goonies, Terminator, Rocketeer, what is that, that is the video game, The Big Mega Man, got an autograph from the man himself, Bruce Leroy, Spider-Man 9.8 action figure, Wolverine number one, not graded nine, one of my other favorite shows, Firefly. And you guys get the gist. Then we got some Donkey Lips posters. And then my old school fridge that I've had since my old home. It's all dirty with stickers and everything on it. Then we got, I was able to fill up my fridge. What a blessing in life. I was able to fill up my fridge. Don't judge me on all the bread and the, the carbohydrates. Please don't judge me. <laughs> We got my Dude, Where's My Car poster up on the wall. The web series I created with a few friends. I'm very proud of it. Got that on the wall. Again, sorry about my camera work. Got my Raider for Nation for Life. Some photos of me back in the days with celebrities or friends of mine or proud moments of my history. Then we got the couch that I live on. Got some football pads because I'm watching the XFL today. Then we go to the desk. Oh, I got some shoes underneath that you guys didn't see. I got some Kobe's. Look on the right side, there's some Kobe's. Kobe Spaceman. And then here's the computer that hopefully I'll be going live on soon. And I call this area, uh, I call this area the, the island of... Misfit headphones, because that's all I got. I got like misfit headphones. They constantly break. They're made cheaply or I sit my head the wrong way. I don't know. There we go. We got, now we got my cabinet area. Let's get a wide shot, see if we can do that. Got my cabinet area that I live for. Got some movies, some Nintendos, and some stuff like that. Let's go take a look at that. Let's see if we can get a sort of a wide shot of this area. My Goonies poster that was gifted to me by my best friend Raphael, who disappeared to Tennessee and won't take me in. But I still love you. All right, you guys can get a view. Got Raiders Monopoly. My fantasy football championship, because I win almost every year. Batman poster, Raider helmet, and some little knickknacks and nooks. Salute your shorts photos and crew photos, and there's me. Me, and a tweet from Cat Dennings to me that I saved. 
And then we got my area up here where I got my firebox that I live for. And I got the gag reel of Salute Your Shorts shitting up there. Huh. Some Salute Your Shorts episodes on VHS with the commercials. <laughs> got my Goonies poster when I played football. I think I'm there on the bottom right. And then we got the little area that everybody loves with the mini Nintendos, the mini Sega, the PlayStation 3, some cars, my award for the Young Actors Award, and some other movies and stuff like that. that you guys can see my mini Sega, and mini Nintendo, retro Nintendo, all that other goodness. And then we got some more knickknacks and some film type knickknacks that sit around the, the apartment. Me and Ronald Reagan, when I performed for them in the cabinet many years ago, when I met them, some Raider Super Bowl rings, the yoga stuff to make me feel good. We got the slime Nickelodeon, Matthew Klickstein, authored book. Sorry guys, it's very, very blurry. And I don't know why, if it's not just my camera or the lighting. But I'm not a good cameraman, as you can tell. Then we got my desk area. This is where I should do all my work. Got a little green screen for when I go live. I got a professional mic, I just fixed it. Had to fix the computer just recently. And like I said, I, I live off the fire cube and other stuff like that. And then there's where I got all my stuff to sell autograph photos and, and um, headshots and stuff like that. And there it is. There it is. My little, my little, my little area. Alright, so then we turned the camera to the top of the green screen in the desk area. Then you go to the left, you got the Raider Nation. Got some little photos from my career and stuff like that. And a little, what do they call it, the montages. Very appreciative, very blessed. And then you got my kitchen. That's right, this apartment came with no kitchen. And I had to make one. Just made a little bit of decaf coffee. Uh, and then, even though it's not, it shows Maxwell House, I promise you, it's decaf. <laughs> I just keep that thing because it's a big box and I put decaf in it. Um, and I don't need to show everybody the food, but I got my V for Vendetta poster. I actually was one of the people with the face mask in that movie in reshoots. I didn't have any lines, but I was wearing one of the Guy Fox masks. And I'm in the film. I know where I am, but I never got credited for it or anything on IMDb, but I still became a truther. And that's why I love that movie so much. Not because I was in it wearing a mask as one of the patrons at the Sony Studios lot. But because I'm a truther, conspiracy theorist, and I love it. Then you got my Broken Evolution poster. And you got my air fryer. And I was just blessed to get a bunch of food. So we don't need to show. I don't even know if I can show it. Got my little cabinets. Got my air fryer. My little... What do they call it? Hot plate and all that other stuff. Now, we go to the coup de gras. You open up the door in the hallway and you get the Indiana Jones hallway. That's what I call it. You even get the lighting going. Dun da 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 Okay, I'm being stupid. You get my hallway, my cupboards, my towels, the old school 80s radio, some toys that were gifted to me by a beautiful friend of mine. Forgive the camera work. The Some posters. Then I, people sometimes ask what this is. It's the Declaration of Independence. And I have a copy up here, kind of framed and shined. 
not signed officially, but, you know, photocopied, blah, blah, blah. And then I got this crazy mirror shut up. You see, it's a long hallway type mirror. Hard to see. It's a long hallway type mirror. And then I got all my stuff in here. All my big boxes, my, my every little thing. Some tools, financial records or life records right there. Boxes with toys, more toys, more knickknacks, more Raider stuff, more files, pillows. I don't know what else is in here. Some old uh, t computer screens. Some old computer screens. Again, forgive the camera work. Hey, there I am. Then we open up where all the clothes are. And look what we got. Oh, goodness. We have Camp Bonawana t-shirts for sale. Merchandise links are below. Pick up your Camp Bonawana merchandise from my store. Support your boy. We got the Donkey Lips, the Anawana, Zeke the Plumber shirts still available for a few more days. Pick up your Camp Bonawana merchandise. Then I still got a lot more shoes. Computer type knickknacks, hats, Burberry, whatever that is. And got my Raider jerseys over here. Can't really see them. Forgive me. Got all my my clothes. My pants are back here. Even though I don't go out that much. Then we have comic book boxes, trading card boxes of comic books and trading cards and stuff I collect down there. So, you guys are seeing, you guys are seeing the real Michael in bad quality. And you can tell I just did my hair. I dyed my hair. All right, let's go to the, all right, that cut off. Let's go to my bathroom where all the magic happens. You open up the door. Blah, blah, blah. All the magic happens here. That's right. This is where I get clean. Not that much. Two, three times a week. And we got the cool, cool, cool shower. I love this shower. That's one of the reasons I was proud to get this apartment. Shower's pretty big. It's kind of hard to see. A little bit messy, a little bit dirty, but it's pretty cool to see. And pretty big. Got a lot of room. Can't really see everything here because it's got the thing in the way. But all the stuff that makes me clean. Then we go to, of course, that's the, the whatever, the, what do they call it? The Got all my medicines because I have some health issues. Got my vitamins, a lot of cotton swabs. And we got the, the area where I do my toilet thoughts, cleaning materials. And the number one location in on the earth to do your thinking. <laughs> got my little rascals poster. Got my family and friends. And hey, what do we got? Is that is that Fox Mulder? That's right. He's always looking inside the the bathroom or outside the window. I turn him to the outside. Why? Because the truth is out there, and he's gonna find it. Hey, Fox, how you doing? How you doing, Fox? Where's Scully? Oh, is that a UFO? Oh, shit. And we got my cleaning supplies and whatnot. So, we'll do an overall end to the tour. Because I don't know how well this is going. We get fly swatters. I get flies here. And I have to cut my toenails with this tool sometimes. Yeah, that's right. Can't bend down enough. Hey, how's that for honesty for you? So, let's get an overall view. Just a quick walk through. Got the Indiana Jones books and toys and all that other goodness. Comic books, colognes, got the skull, the stereo, life is a journey. 
And this is where I do all my cameos. Pick yourself up a cameo for Mother's Day or any day. I do some good, 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 good cameos. All right, how do I adjust the lighting? So there's my apartment where I spend 99% of my time. Goodness gracious. My iPad and the lighting is not very, very good. So there it is. I'm the man in the box. I'm the man in the box, which is okay. All right, so thank you everybody for walking through my apartment in a virtual tour with bad lighting, bad photography, and probably bad punch. More importantly, I appreciate you and try to find every blessing you have in your life and recognize it, if even publicly. Don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about being judged. Don't worry about none of that. Just worry about getting your life to a better place while realizing every single blessing you have. And that's what I tried to do today. So, consider becoming a member of this channel, subscribing for more content like this, and supporting me. Pick up some merchandise. I love you guys. Have a beautiful, blessed Mother's Day. And thanks for going on this apartment tour. And, of course, people like to know, how much do you pay? They always want to get in your business, but I'm not ashamed to say it. I pay 1.1K. That's $1,100 a month for a 450 foot square foot efficiency apartment in California or Hollywood per se. And I don't make a lot of money, so I do struggle with all of my bills and even paying that amount. That's reality. That's life. It's my situation. So... Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And yeah. Thank you for every blessing. Thank you guys for your friendship, your fandom, your donations, your super chats, your buying of merch, your being my friend. God bless you. Hopefully some more bigger, better, funner videos soon. And I was thinking about doing a dance party live for members only. Uh, maybe Sunday night. Or Monday or Monday night or Tuesday night. Maybe Wednesday night would be the latest. But I was thinking about doing a dance party for members only. Because I need to hear some good music. Realize my blessings and just dance. And get exercise. And, and all that other stuff. Oh, that's right. I didn't show you all my exercise bike. I don't use it as much as I should, but I do. I do. So there it is. The exercise bike that's going to make me into a, a human triathlon marathon runner. <laughs> no, it won't. No, it won't. But that's what I use for exercise when I don't go out. And I need to go out more. So there it is. You got the entire video. I said what I said. I love y'all. Blessings. Have a beautiful day. And I'll see you on the next one.